Our senior NBA insider Adrian Wojnarowski with us now on SportsCenter AM. Woj, the Bucks seem to be living up to their promise to get Giannis some help. So why were they so aggressive in going after Holiday and Bogdanovich overnight? Well, this is a team that has had great regular season success the last couple of years, has fallen short in the playoffs, and now he gave us his deal. What does this mean for the Pelicans' future? Well, you know, we, we talk a lot about all the picks. It was reported overnight that James Harden turned down a chance to become the league's first $50 million per year player and is focused on the Nets. It seems crazy that somebody <laughs> would do that, but what can you tell us about the talks between these two teams? Well, the, the Rockets really on this throughout the day here on SportsCenter. Harden and Durant, by the way, have seven scoring titles between them. That is our Woach bringing us the latest here on SportsCenter. And the conversation continues here about the Warriors. Our NBA draft analyst Mike Schmitz with us on SportsCenter. Mike, our latest mock draft on ESPN.com has the Warriors taken Memphis center James Wiseman. So tell me, how would a seven-foot big man like Wiseman fit with the Warriors? He fits because he gives them. State was fortunate to find their point guard of the future in Steph Curry back in the 2009 draft. But one team that has dreamt of that pick is the Knicks, right? Mike, will they have to move up in order to change that, or can they find that player with that pick that they have, the ninth pick? I'm sure they would love to move up and get a point guard of the future. Too much sense, if anything. Yeah. All right, so the big news of the NBA from Monday was the Suns acquiring Chris Paul in the trade with the Thunder. Mike, now that Phoenix has Paul, who do they think they might target with that 10th pick? I could see being in the top 10 for the fifth consecutive draft. We'll see what happens. That is our Mike Schmidt helping us get set for tomorrow's NBA draft right here on ESP. On a trade to the Nets, uh, I think I can speak safely for Malika Andrews that we can't imagine turning down 50 million a year. That's I'm just trying to try to wrap my brain around yeah. that. Uh, it's great to have you in the studio. Uh, tremendous work in the bubble and we're happy to have you out of the bubble and with us today. Uh, give us the perspective on this from the Nets side, if well, you will. From the Nets' point of view, yeah. Hannah, and I, yeah. I can't really believe I'm saying this about a former MVP, Moon and the Stars at the Houston Rockets in order to do it. Which is really what that would right. require. If you're going to trade James Harden, you need something massive in return. It's exactly. sort of the first big test for the Rockets' mm -hmm. GM, Raphael Stone. What are people saying around the league about Harden turning down 50 mil per year for the next <laughs> few years? Well, you know how shocked you and I were yeah. at turning down that sort of money. That sentiment actually resonates with some of the players that happen, but there's no image deal on the horizon and, and there's no real imminent reason as we heard from Woj a few minutes ago for Houston to make a deal yep. at that point they can sit back see what offers come in maybe he won't be in a Rockets uniform maybe he won't be in a Nets uniform maybe it'll be someone completely different. <laughs> uh, Malika always great to be with you thanks the draft takes place tomorrow night and it does remain unclear just who the Timberwolves will select with that first overall pick it could be Anthony Edwards it could be LaMelo Ball or who knows maybe even a trade Regardless, ball figures to go in the top three. The six foot seven dynamic playmaker now listed at number three in our mock draft going to Michael Jordan's Hornets. The 19 year old who last played in Australia and the National Basketball League spent some time with our Jalen Rose in advance of the draft tomorrow night. Mike is here dancing your favorite day of the year finally here, sir. It's here. Yeah. Let's do it. Our NBA draft analyst Mike Schmidt here busy today. Now you've been saying that LaMelo Ball is the best prospect in this draft, but why could Anthony Edwards actually top that and be good for Minnesota? Well, D'Angelo Russell. Okay, so plenty of talk about that top spot, but a team to watch is Boston and their three first round picks tonight. What are they looking to get out of this draft? I think it would be ideal if they could move up, package those three picks and get into the top five, the top. All right, we're closer to seeing to what they will do, and that is our NBA draft analyst, Mike Schmidt, with what you need to know. Catch the draft starting at 7 Eastern on ESPN, and he is a big 728 days after he suffered the injury, Smith made his first start last Sunday against the Lions. He threw for a career-high 390 yards in a 30-27 loss. You can see Stefania Bell's documentary of Alex's incredible comeback story, Project 11, right now on ESPN+. Plus. Oh, that I wait for every week. You do? Not, not really? the top plays from okay. Saturday, but the top plays that will put smiles on our faces and your face, too. Time for Sunday Fun Day. We're going to start with Illinois punter. So wrong. 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 Uh, Halloween's over. The lights can go up. That's what I say. What about your house? There are no lights up. Is your tree up? Not yet. You got any decorations no. up? 
No, of course not. <laughs> Right now it's a little cold. We got Somebody a problem. Else have to come do it because I'm not trying to do it in the cold. We have five matchups this week between teams six, three or, or better, mm -hmm. six and three. So right. it started on Thursday, obviously, with the Cardinals and the Seahawks. And then tomorrow night, the Bucks and the Rams. Right. And then in between three such matchups today. So this is the most in the Super Bowl era this early in the season. I have a feeling Sam Ponder and crew have that in their show rundown today. You think so? I think six so. Six win team.